Hello and welcome to Acoustic Guitar Paradiso. Or guitar Acoustic Paradiso or Paradiso Guitar Acoustic, depending on <laughs> where you are in the world. Anyway, it is acoustic and it's a paradise in here because it's so hot. Yes. Uh, Anderson's TV, my name's Pete. My name's Mick, hello. Hello. Today. Fender Paramount series. Fender Paramount. Now, what does Paramount mean? He didn't say you're going to ask me that question. What does it mean? It means no. top, doesn't it? It means it's at a top, leading. Because I always see it in these films as well. It's like the paramount, the mount. Yeah. It's just the top of the yeah. crop. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't. I just want to trick, throw a question. I want to throw a quick, a uh, trick question in there. See if. Yeah. if uh, but anway. Fender. Well, aptly named because um, so Fender. Yeah. You might say that Fender isn't the first brand you think about when acoustic guitars, but of course Fender's been making acoustics since the 60s and has made tremendous numbers of acoustic guitars. It's yeah. amazing how many Fender acoustic guitars are out there. And of course, uh, in Fender's recent history, um, there were a lot of acquisitions and brand acquisition and all that kind of stuff. So there was a huge amount of experience gained through brands such as Takamini, Tacoma, Guild. There was a lot of yeah. happening at Fender. Um, and I think, that may have wet the whistle a little bit for some a little bit more ambition with more traditional type acoustics, shall we say? Yeah. Also, that I I've, I felt the last sort of ten years or something has become more more acoustic players, more sort of you know well ever since MTV Unplugged, let's yeah. be fair, but it's really which is twenty years, would you? Which believe? is twenty years, I know. So so more it's kind years. of it, you know it took off probably slow, and then now it's you know you got people. Yeah. Uh, there's just so many acoustic artists out there and it's definitely a bandwagon to be on. Well, I mean, it used to be the, the kind of the guitar you started on and uh, couldn't wait to move away from, but now, of course, yeah. it's just... It's, it's the other way around, of, isn't it? Yeah, it's part of the, part of the deal, isn't it? You, yeah. If you don't have an acoustic guitar, there's something, something kind of wrong, I would say, but there we are. Yeah, and if you don't have five or six of them, yeah. something... Yeah, yeah. Really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, Mick? It is. Yeah. So here we go then. Paramount. No. Yeah. So um, the nutshell description is um, they're mid-price but pretty high spec. Yeah. Designed in the States, yeah. manufactured in China. There are three body shapes. One that looks like that, which is a cutaway triple yeah. O type thing. Yeah, that's a PM3. So there's a PM1, PM2, PM3. Yeah. Uh, that's... The PM3. This is the one. That's the PM. Dreadnought. Where, and they all come, uh, oh, they're, they're not all, but that's the deluxe version. Anyway, we've got a PM2 here. Yeah, and the, and the two is a parlor. Yeah. So you've got cutaway um, auditorium size, parlor, and Dreadnought. And then after yeah. that, as Pete alluded, they come in standard and deluxe spec. Standard yeah. spec is mahogany and Sitka spruce. Yeah. Um, deluxe is rosewood. And Sitka Spruce and Ebony Fingerboard and Bridge. Yeah. And amazingly, it's all solid timbers. All solid timbers, back and sides and top and everything. And you also got uh, you also got um, sunburst versions. Yes. Um, which is which I, is nice. I, I like that sunburst. I wouldn't wish to state my life on the fact that there is every model in every finish. No. I, it's the, I think I think I'm right in saying the the deluxe ones are the only ones you can get in Sunburst, but please do check Yeah, them. I think you're correct in that in, one. In the yeah. links below. Yeah. And links will be below, exactly. Yeah. For the so, ones that we haven't heard since. what do you got there? So that's Mahogany. Yeah. So that would be a PM3 standard, standard yeah? Standard, yeah. Okay. With and, the cutaway. And to just underline what we said earlier about the, the reasonable pricing, um, the most expensive guitar we've got here today is, at current prices today, which is August 2016, is about 650 quid for an all solid wood with a case. With a case, yeah. And it comes with um, a pickup system. Yeah, a new pickup system it. designed yeah. with Fishman and yeah. very elegant it is too. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little close up for you yeah. now. Uh, it's got a little tune on it and it's kind of a really cool little, just to take really quickly through them, you've got a little screen on the top here. Uh, when you hold it down, there's a tune on the other side, uh, swaps the face. And colour got, screens, uh, Pete, when did that it's happen? It's a colour screen as well. It's a colour screen. It's really swanky. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see if that was in tune or not, but it's really cool. You just hold it down, and uh, it looks nice. Again, it's not that old barn door with the big thing up here. So you got your battery underneath here. It's a Fishman P 
pickup and uh, it's, yep. it's, controls um, for volume, yep. bass, treble, and phase on board and yep. tuner on and off. So very simple. You get a little yeah. No no mucking about. No, just easy. You got a little humidifier as well in the case. Oh really? So you got yeah, and you got your tool if you want to do the neck and all that sort of stuff. A humidifier which is essentially a long tube, and you put it between the strings and just put it in the guitar and it keeps it humid yep. or, um, or less. Humid. Bit of context for that. Um, one of the issues in making guitar out of all solid woods is that they are slightly more susceptible to moving around between climates. So yeah. if it makes sense to keep the guitar at um, a sensible level of hydration yeah. uh, to stop it from expanding or shrinking, which can damage the build of the guitar. It, people, certainly if you live in like temperate climates, like um, here in the UK, for example, humidity is never really an issue with guitars. But if you live up a mountain and it's really dry, <laughs> Or in, in places where it is really dry. Oh, like, you live near the sea, for instance. Yeah, and it's, you know. and it's over wet. Actually, dry is a bit is a bigger problem than over wet. But yeah. you know, it can be an issue. So it's something to be aware of with a all solid wood guitar. The yeah. best thing you can do, just you know, this is kind of a bit of a tangent, is just keep the guitar in its case. Yeah, which is <laughs> yeah exactly. Keep it in the case yeah. with with the humidifier in it. And yeah. Uh, or, yeah. Actually, there was there's a really cool little thing. Just a little quick side step. You can get this little humidity track. Right. Uh, that Planet Waves do in the Dario. Um, and, and you put it inside the case in the guitar. So you do a sort of um, mm -hmm. Velcro it in, and you've got a little app on your phone, and it tells you uh, the humidity and the uh, levels and all that stuff on your phone. I, it, you know, it's a clever little thing, though, mm. if you want to keep it. If you've got a really expensive acoustic guitar, yeah, and you want yeah. to keep it, you know. Anyway. Something to keep an eye on. And they come with these little uh, things that you have to take off, which is over the sound hole here, so it keeps it. Oh, probably. really? Yeah, so that's on there. I had to take those off because we literally just got them out of the case. That's kind of I wonder what that is, if they if just keep the... Built or shipped or something, or they... Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't yeah. matter. That's, that's we're we're on a tangent. Yeah. Um, all solid is what, what's important. Mahogany neck, as we said. Uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge on the deluxe. Rosewood fingerboard and bridge yeah. on the standard. Oh, nice open gear yeah. tuners. Open gear too. tuners. You've got some the, with the black heads there. Uh, you know, I really like these. Yeah. I, I don't like bulky tuners, they're too heavy. Yeah, these so, are lovely, they look yeah, and nice. And they just they? work great. Yeah. They they're really nice. Yeah. So it's got you know, and it's got little go faster stripes in the back. I like all that. Uh, stuff. checkerboard, yeah. So um checkerboard. There are there are there are there are broad uh, very sorry, not broad, <laughs> slim hints to Fender's acoustic past. Yeah. Um and I think some of the styling it, we're not going back to the old Malibus or whatever they were called with the with the Strat headstocks and bolt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They still they still do some. They still and, and yeah, yeah. kind of funky they are too. But this yeah. is much more a traditional thing, as you can see, three aside headstock. Yeah. Um, and some nice styling detail. Yeah. That's nice sunburst, lovely thin finish on there. Yeah, I can see the grain going yeah. through it. It's, uh, we were wondering if it was nitro or not, but we're not completely one hundred percent sure. I'd be surprised if it is at this price. Yeah. Coming from China. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's yeah. a side step. Um, oh, quarter sawn, scalloped, uh, wow, X bracing as well. Nice. So cool. So let's let's shall we hear them? No, let's just keep talking. Okay, so we just keep talking. <laughs> so if you keep talking, I'll go and get a coffee, uh, perhaps a back back rub, and then a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm just gonna play now. We got the Neumann KM184. Uh, on f in front here and it is plugged in here so what I'm going to do now is we're going to play annotate underneath this is the microphone this is the internal pickup yeah and we will just because the internal pickup as we talked before it's kind of it has to be probably eq a little bit put a nice little bit of reverb on there so so you get in a sense that it's actually in a live kind of situation yeah it's uh, lest we go into it but yeah at no point are you ever using an under saddle system to get a beautiful acoustic sound don't care what anyone says about an under saddle sound. Yeah, it's a it's utility a, fitment that works really well in a live environment, yeah. and that's what you need. Yeah, that's so, what it's so that's for. why we, 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 we're going to do it like that. Okay, yeah. anyway, here just, we go. Just um, before you get started, yes, Pierre, I'm going to let's compare apples with apples, and I'll play the mahogany. So, just so that we're comparing apples with apples, so to speak, these are both standards. Yep. That's the three, this is the one. Yep. So, we're, but we're talking Sitka spruce, yep. uh, mahogany. Okay. Let's, uh, let's have a little play.
reasons that we can't really explain, <laughs> Pete and I have been laughing our socks off today at resolutions to a major chord. Yeah, uh, it's funny. For some reason, it's and so I don't funny. know why. Yeah, I don't know what happened this morning. You, you, have, to, you have to imagine a very sort of powerful folk ballad, you know, kind of... And that's the payoff when the, the you, payoff. You, you learn the, 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 the resolution to the story. Uh, actually, it's you have to have the stories all about yeah. what, actually, what the lyrics are, really. Actually, you hear, you hear that a lot in praise music as well, don't you? The resolution yeah. to the... Uh, I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. Religious music, you know. Yeah. Uh, we love it. Anyway, there was a, we yeah. had a thing this morning. Anyway. So, sorry, it's not an in-joke. That's, we that's why we were laughing. Yeah, so we're just telling you quickly. And it's nice. It's nice. I like it. It's nice. It looks good. It's it, very well finished. Um, not much to say. Pick, I like that you pick, get a case pick, with this. Oh, sorry, 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 I keep talking. Um. It's kind of got that um, the urgency of mahogany, I would say. Yep. Um, fairly clean sounding. Yeah. Give it some plectrum. Well, I like I like the I like that uh, when I did earlier. I did that kind of. Um I mean that um, that kind of that chucking. Yeah, it you, worked really well on this guitar. It's, it's a bit slim on this guitar than than the other ones, but it, that kind of. Uh, I like that kind of. Um, it it, it lends itself well to that. I found, but that's just. Yeah, I guess because you haven't got all that kind of low bass thud in there. Thud. Yeah. What about? Yeah. Um, Yeah, so you get that. I think Fiddling. mahogany definitely does bring a little bit of that. Yes. Bluesier, drier kind of sound. And just uh, before you swap guitars, Pete, we're just yep. um, continuing on that theme. Theme. Uh, so, yeah. so far, the dreadnought and the the triple O style both have uh, what what you might think of as a long longer scale, twenty five point three inches, six four three mil. Yeah. Um, that one's got a 43 mil nut, and the sorry, that one's got a 1.75 inch nut, which is like 44 and a half mil, and yeah. that's 43, so it's a little bit slimmer. Yeah. And then this one again has got a wide nut, but it's got a shorter scale. So this is the it's the 12 fret. Yeah. So that's the SD. Uh, uh, sorry, that is the um, PM3, right? Sorry, PM2. The parlor is the P two. PM2, yeah. Yeah, and this is the deluxe. So this is rosewood and. Uh, spruce and again slightly short scale length and 24 and three quarters and a smaller body yeah so
So immediately, I really like this guitar. Yeah. You, yeah, have a go, see what you think. Okay. Do we, have to, do we need to swap leads or can we just... Uh, just, just a faster just, guitar. Just pass it over. Because I think you'll like this too. Yeah. Wow, it's completely different uh, yeah. when, you, when you grasp it and when you sit with it. That whole sort of 12 fret neck joint, that comes back a bit, doesn't it? Actually, I've just noticed those inlays, they're pretty yeah, too. Yeah, they're very they? pretty. Very pretty. Nice so, piece of... Uh, yeah, so deluxe ones get the pretty inlays, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nice. I like this too. Actually, I, I like, I, like, I kind of like that better. Is that because you play, Pete plays this kind of guitar frequently, this body size, don't you? Yeah, yeah, my, kind of my main, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a triple O, it's an OM, but it's, yeah. it's, a, it's but this, a triple O size. This is OM yeah. scale length, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's kind of, um, I, don't, I don't know, you know, you know we, us, it's, we're very privileged to get to play all of these guitars all the time, so you kind of, it's, it, it becomes more difficult to play or easier to play guitars, but difficult to tell which one, how how, how different they actually feel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of one of those. So, uh, but yeah, nice. That's very nice as well. Very, very it's nice. I bet and I, it's very I'd, pretty. Like, I'd like that in Sunburst. Yeah, that yeah, it comes Sunburst. It's going to be on the screen now. There it is. Amazing. That's the Sunburst completely one. Completely amazing. Yeah, and it's completely amazing. Balls. Completely amazing. Right, so what do we... Uh, what do we oh, that's a pretty neck as well. Look at that. Amaze balls. Yeah. Let's have another look. I quite like this. Yeah, you like that. Let me just try. I want to do this the dreadnought wish. Oh, well, actually, it's changing over to this dreadnought thing. I think that sounds lovely. It looks great. It looks like it's really thin lacquer on here. Yeah. Lovely. It looks nice. Nice sunburst color. Yeah. Okay, that. so uh, I'll play the other dreadnought then. Let's just two, see. There's two deluxes. Let's you just see, it then. see if we can hear the difference between the. Um, can we hear the difference? Can we hear the difference? The, can we hear? Uh, so these are the these guitars are the same, except one is mahogany back and sides, and the other is rosewood back and sides. Rosewood. So, <laughs> so these are the <laughs> these are the uh, these are your standard.
another ode to uh, an yeah. ode not yeah, to and the, a bit of drop D. Just want to hear the. I just want to hear the bottom end of that one. See, that's a just. You can hear it as a different bottom end, can't you? <laughs> I like it. It's yeah. nice. So hopefully you got a chance just to hear how, um, well, you know, traditionally you would say that um, a rosewood would probably have a little bit more lower mid color. Yep. And the mahogany should stay a bit clearer and cleaner. But you know, these are these are generalizations. So yeah, you can. I'm interested to hear the audio back. Certainly from where we were sat here, that was the case. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So you yeah. get a lot of attack and a lot of. And I'm playing with soft. I'm playing with a softer pick than you. Right. a bit more girth I would say warmth that one seems to be a bit more attack a bit louder but yeah you know yeah well anyway you need to come and try them out yeah They're lovely guitars building acoustic comes with a case humidifiers all the stuff you need to Kitchen go out sink. and and rock out if you can do that on acoustic uh, guitar I'm sure you can you can Peter what is that what, who's uh, smashing guitars up over in America what's the what's this name um, who did that where they were flying around and smashing guitars up on stage and was that Billy Cyrus? Billy Ray Cyrus? Oh, Who him, Garth that? Brooks. Garth Brooks, that's it. Yeah. Garth Brooks. Yeah. That's rocking out with an acoustic guitar, mm. isn't it? Just flying around on stage, smashing guitars up like that. Mm. Okay, so that was uh, the Fender Paramount. Paramount? Paramount. Yeah. So Fender the, Paramount the, series. The PM1, Paramount, of course, PM1, PM2, PM3. Standard uh, and Deluxe. Standard and Deluxe. And there is more, if you look at the links below, more different uh, versions of them. Come check them out. And this was Acoustic Parodies on Anderson's TV. My name is Pete. My name is Mick. And we will see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe. Now you can say goodbye in the link below somewhere. It's in the link. In the link. It's in the link. For special things. It's in the link. I think it's... Is it there or is it there? Oh, no. <laughs> it's over there. And um, if you're looking for a new guitar, this is a good... Um,
you know, it's one to look at. A guitar shop is a good place to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a car, go someplace else. <laughs> yeah. If you're looking for shoes, yeah. shoes, definitely Kebab, not. don't come to Addison's. Kebabs. Yeah. You know what, actually, I think Lee kind of runs a, uh, uh, where I've moved to down in Somerset, and, and is in a, in a location we're not going to tell anyone, uh, but there is actually a uh, Lee has actually opened a fish and chip shop. I've noticed. So, uh, oh yes, he has. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a picture of that on the screen. Now, <laughs> it will. Okay, I'll get a picture. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> anyway, so this was Lee's uh, fish, chip, and kebab shop. <laughs> My name was Pete. <laughs> My name was Mick, and that'll be two pounds sixty-three. <laughs> <laughs>